Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Look, it's like we're on the islands and Sarah's having an allergic reaction. Don't really know what's going on, but, but I took some medicine. Before our time lapse, look at this. Early morning fireworks testing. Hollow wishes replacement? Probably. Now relax and enjoy your cruise, and we'll have you at your port of call in just a few minutes. Thanks for sailing. How do you feel? Oh, it's a busy night. I feel great. Well, this um, is the thing. The weather got real nice. It is so nice out. It is like 70 and gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, it rained a little bit earlier today, so I feel like people probably left, and now they're back. It rained a lot today. I know. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sky. And there's a dad dancing over here. The exact same way I picture your dad dancing on Main Street. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> the hands and everything. Yeah. You know it's a busy afternoon in the Magic Kingdom when they're not even doing biometric scans. Right. They're just bumping cards and rolling in. We got two Fast Passes. One for Winnie the Pooh and one for Space Mountain. And all the joy and magic in the world. In between. Hey, Sarah. Hey, what? You know what I really want to do right now? What? I really want to get a Starbucks coffee and just to stay on a, on a garbage can. Why can't like, we? Vacation style. Do you want to? Park open vacation style. Can you do that? Maybe. Mm. We decided people mover is calling our names just a little bit more. While the sun's still up and we'll get to enjoy it all. To say that people movers having a case of the Mondays is an understatement. It stopped while we were on it in Space Mountain. Lights came on. That was cool. Saw a bunch of those like pressure pads, yeah, that so that like will trigger if someone get jumps out. It tells the cast members that somebody's out. And right now, looking at it, it stopped again. Again. I love well, stopping on people mover though. It helps my case of the Mondays. Yeah. The man in the red. The man in the red. The man in the red. Who did we just see? We just saw Santa Claus. Santa Claus just walked vacation. right past us. Seriously? I hope you can get a, like an instant slow motion replay of that. I think I got him, but he was small. Oh God. Walking away, but we literally just saw Santa Claus. <laughs> Considering we just saw Santa Claus and we got literally lured in by the fragrances oozing out from its beautiful doorway. We have to stop at the Ye Old Christmas Shop. A humble. 142 you know days. I think when we move into our new apartment, we put our countdown up. Usually we wait till 100 days, but I think it's just for fun, for special. Now this is nice. Also, you can write a letter to Santa here and put it in the mailbox. Also, we need this book. For real. Christmas cards are here. So we're just gonna stroll. We're trying to figure out what to do for our anniversary. Lands. Yeah, we're gonna stroll through the lands and go to our fast pass. But while we do so, we're gonna figure out our wedding anniversary, which is Thursday. Four years. We thought about doing the speed race, the wave racers, sea racers, sea racers. Sea racers. Mm -hmm. But now we're thinking about maybe not doing sea racers and like doing a nice sit-down table service. It doesn't have to yeah. be on Disney property, but I kind of want it to be on Disney property. But the options are limited. I'm just gonna keep kind of standing here and talking and see how Sarah's arm's gonna do. Honey. No. It's Pooh. It's Pooh. Pooh Poo in the honey pot. Found a tail for his friend. Now it's on my rear end. You get the honey. Enjoy. One day, I'll do the equal good. That's a Wednesday. I'm Tigger. <laughs> Come out with me. Oh, 
you hear that? We're Perfect all timing. Sorts of thrown off though because fireworks are typically at 9:15. It's nine o'clock, and our Space Mountain Fast Pass got canceled. Yeah, but it's one of those weird situations where this doesn't happen often. The Fast Pass got canceled by Disney late enough where it's valid all tomorrow and at any park. Any Restricted, ride. like not all the rides. Like, we can't go on Flight of Passage right. or Peter Pan or Seven Dwarfs, but like we can use it at any park tomorrow if we don't use it tonight. What's life like? Sitting out for new tomorrow. Sitting out for new tomorrow. Sitting out for new tomorrow. We have a seating spot. All at the same time. There's some cast member still. We've definitely seen the cast member all the way to the left. He does this like every night. The other two are just new pals. Remember how this song came out like six months before we moved here? And, and we jammed this in the car ride down? Yeah. Oh yeah, my favorite! Now, it's a flower, everybody. Beautiful. Nobody oh. loves it as much as I do. This isn't a beautiful Monday night. I just don't know what is then. I want a Dole Whip and a fried chicken waffle sandwich. We can get a Dole Whip if you want. <laughs> but Sarah, your belly's hurting. I know, my belly can hurt, but the cool night might be nice. Well, we're going to the Polynesian, because where we parked, maybe we could pick up a Dole Whip there. It's if called you... a Dole Whip Express. Oh. We last minute deviated from the exiting crowds to just hubgrass it for just a little bit. I mean, like, there's that show, and I think now we're in about 10 minutes that we very rarely watch. Yeah, it looks kind of spooky up there. It does, because it's almost Halloween time. Woo! Is it wet? No. Is it enjoyable? We took a little rest. We're here, let's watch it. Why, with a bit of imagination, we could discover exciting new worlds filled with daring adventure, enchanting love, and even a little bit of magic. And then we don't typically do that. That's when I was like, we were going to leave and right as we were leaving it was starting. And I was like, you know what? It's only like 10 minutes. Let's just stay and enjoy it. It's a beautiful yeah. night. We're not always up for watching it. Right. Let's do it. And it and was great. And typically the hubgrass is emptied out after fireworks. So that was really nice to just relax. Let the crowds get out a little bit. Did you enjoy the show? Yes. So did I. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank you. The puppy is cozy as can be. Gotta run and come home, snuggle up.
Baby? She was just trying to eat my shoes. She doesn't want me to go. <laughs> okay, for the fifth. Don't count the days. Make the days count. Alrighty, Peter is off and running. That quote is super important to me today. I just feel like... I feel like it's still just such like our hearts are still so heavy from everything and that we cannot let this long wait or the amount of days get to us because the days, the in-between days are still so important. Um, highs and lows. I don't know, I just feel like that quote was really fitting and I kind of, it's easy for us because we are such positive people um and we live so close to disney world like the most magical place on earth um it is easy for it to seem like everything is just okay and um we're still struggling but i think we're doing a good job at getting past it and i know that we're gonna continue to struggle um but the little embryo that um did not stay with us. I had a watercolor painting of it commissioned by somebody actually in Australia and they just told me today that it's done and then it'll be here in two or three weeks so that's really exciting. There really is so much to look forward to um, but also gotta remember to savor the now too. Gotta go see what Eve's barking at. She probably wants a treat and it's too late for that. It's good to be home. All right, I'm going to be honest, my friends, I'm struggling today. been struggling a little bit the past couple days, but I didn't run Friday. I pushed that to Monday, but then I ran Saturday 14, didn't run yesterday, saying I was going to give up the four miles and run eight today. Well, I'm switching it again. I'm running four today because I'm exhausted and just need to get back into a mental groove of running because I'm not there right now. And so I'm going to run the four today which means I'll run eight tomorrow instead of um, four tomorrow. I think my schedule says nine on, nine on Wednesday and four on Thursday. So I'm gonna take it one day at a time. I'm gonna take my own advice. Just get in there and get started. So like, I know I'm gonna do the four miles right now, but like if I get on this and just do half a mile, at least I'm doing that. Um, I think it's, a, I knew I was gonna hit this wall eventually cause I'm like five, six weeks into my training block. And it's just, I'm hoping I can get, fight through pretty easily and hopefully it doesn't take too long because we're up there in the miles and this training block is not messing around and it's the last three mile, three months before the training season starts and our running season starts and once my running season starts, it is like wine and dine, 33 days later, day 250K, 30 days later, dopey, 30 days later, Princess, 45 days later, Star Wars. I'm excited, I just, I'm just, I could really go for a cheeseburger right now. <laughs> All right, it's already gone, but I, I, I did it, four, four miles. You can see my sweaty face right over here. <sighs> Feel good that I did it, but yeah, no, I feel great that I did it. Much better than before. Got eight tomorrow, nine on Wednesday. Um, feel good. I was nervous I was gonna, I have a notorious for if I, if I take a day off the training block, I'm notorious for falling off the wagon and going weeks. I hope tonight prevented that. I'm gonna see about getting up tomorrow morning to do my eight mile run in the morning, but I am also notoriously terrible at waking up early. So we will see tomorrow and tomorrow's vlog, you'll find out. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>